undergone a more drastic. All set for another season of WNBA action, and we're glad you're seventh in the WNBA in rebounds per game a season ago. The entry pass. Johnson fades, fires over Williams, and the first bucket. They feed the post, and Williams trying to return fire, and she makes it. A big positive for Atlanta. Now, Elizabeth Williams struggled to begin last season. She finished the second half of the season shooting better than 70% from the field. A flick shot in the lane by Kayla Davis. Harrison runs the floor, rejected by Sykes, though. Head coach last year with the Sparks last in the WNBA in pace. Montgomery lowers the shoulder, the flip up for two to tie this at four. Montgomery, the stop and pop, and this time it drops. I love it, Andy. A little slow behind the play. The bank up and good by Montgomery. Nia Coffee substitutes in off the timeout. Her first action as a dream player. Entry pass, not in time. It was up and in by Harrison, but she couldn't be. There's probably a few things more infuriating as a head coach when you dial up a play out of the timeout and you get a shot clock violation. One of the questions this year going into the dream is who is going to play the three for us? He's got a lot to see that rip and go from the wing and then get to the rim. She's strong. She's a strong body. Big. Montgomery had it poked away from behind. And it's Agun Bawali ahead of the pack for two. WNBA GMs believe that Agun Bawali and New York's Asia Durr, the favorites for WNBA Rookie of the Year. How about that up and under by Jessica Breland? That's not a rookie. Way by Alicia Gray, recovered by Williams. And now Montgomery draws contact. Oh, the wave it off. She didn't get into. What are we doing here? Well, we will hit some. and season opener sometimes you don't want to wait to start playing Bawali that was her second they did not rule it though in the act of Montgomery shot it was Williams to reset Bentley hounds her a spot up three by Alicia Gray good Hayes to the open side of the pick and in with the left Kayla Thornton off to Gray Back at Thornton, spots a seam and floats it in. Chip that, hey, there's some players that aren't playing right now with me that are going to be big time impact players towards the end of the season. Tough finish inside by Thornton, doubled by Williams, bounces away, plays on, teams from three. On a pick and roll. Teresa Playson hit her season high versus the Dream last year. Underneath, Coffee takes it up strong. It was 62% of the line a season ago. Rattles the first one in and out. Better from the outside, too. They haven't hit consistently from the three early on in this one. So Dream by six, one minute to play in our opening quarter. The dump down, Harrison, the pump fake, up it in, and a foul. Foul is on Marie Gulich, one of the new Dream actors. How about this traded by the Dream eight days ago? Well, I'll tell you, when Azari Stevens gets healthy for Dallas. Foul off the inbound was on Hayes, and the free throw good. 9.2 points a game a year ago for Gray. And she's struck. Stabs it herself, but again, Tiffany Hayes, she's great off the move, right? In transition, rip and goes. Fifth season in the league after going undrafted in 2015. And she ties the get in and out. They want to play with pace, get up and down. They were the only team in the WNBA last year. Hey, speaking of great guards, that's a wonderful. Thornton, coast to coast, kicks Gray wide open for a second three of the game. It is good. Johnson slings the sidestep. Thornton, the three short. Rebound McGee Stafford. She did a lot of that for the Dream last year. And she no secrets in the scouting report for the Dream as far as Monty McGee Stafford is concerned. The pull up and. Come out and muscle up down low. A little bit of chip on your shoulder probably. Just got tricked. Meanwhile, that foul on the Gugawani is her third. The three ball gets the soft bounce and in. About Jessica Breeland, Elizabeth Williams. Let's not forget she was fourth in the league in blocks per game a year ago. 
as Breland steps into the jumper instead. Dream will hunt for a bucket on the pass break. Breland to the rack for two more. To what this team wants to do. Montgomery bounces through a pair of defenders to Breland. Sense that the team gets a bit more fired up through her, and I say that she's up now. Also draws the third personal on Teresa Playsons. Time it's last year. He's on Elena Deladon in that final, and I mean it. McCarty Williams, the shot clock winding down, hitches across. Three on the way, up and good. Sice can't answer. And here comes Davis with the stop and pop. Two more for Caleb against Williams. Sykes the other way. Attacks the rack, but Harrison swats it out of bounds. Sykes. While most people, she can actually just, it's a lot of length she's trying to get through. Harrison, who did not play in the WNBA last year for personal medical reasons. Brooke McCarty Williams looks like something that would have fallen out of Elizabeth Williams' back pocket. Another block inside by Harrison. And that's a nice attack again. Mia Coffey just really step. Montgomery tries to draw contact, and she does. There's that craftiness from the 11. Give me three. But McCarty Williams, great story. Take the team, but then went and had a great career. A great Played collegiately at the University of Texas. Pointers and 24 points in the Dreams win over the Wings last season. Bentley pinned along the baseline, unloads it to Williams, but it's a three-second violation. Like a moment ago, but sixth in the WNBA and free throw percentage a year ago. 88, no good on the layup. Gray catches over the shoulder, up and in. It's off to Gray. Gray with the shot clock at three. Harrison finding space, can't double pump it. This season because they're still trying to get it together a little bit. They're trying to get your timing down, and I guess that also applies to coming out of halftime. The fall away by Johnson, rejected again by Elizabeth Williams. She'll try it third time and get blocked a third time by Williams. Harrison lost the handle. Shot clock at one. Breeland with the block. Oh, put that in the highlight. Real rejections, though, from both sides. Here's Williams taking it in on Harrison and another block. Agun Bawali two on one. The bounce inside to Johnson, and she's fouled. And great pass. Her second. Here's Glory Johnson. Yes. In the final four for Notre Dame. Yeah, you know, in, in some ways, I think. Three and have the wingspan of Jessica Breeland, even if you're 5'9 like Taylor Hill and have the box out position. Hard to keep her away. Hayes, can she get her offense going? The stop and go up and two. And Isabel Harrison for the illegal screen will take a look at that finish again by Tiffany. At, in the locker room at halftime, what they need to fix, which is moving, which is finding shots in rhythm. Lob down to Breeland. Splits between the defenders and lays it in. You know, a double on the gas pedal just a little bit quicker. <laughs> Thornton fades over Breeland. Kayla Thornton, how smooth was that? I don't know if everyone understands how tough of a sh They try to turn the floor. Here's Thornton. Sykes got the block. Second block for Brittany Sykes. McCarty Williams had 1-3, looking for another, and she gets it. What an impact. By eight, trying to stanch an 8-0 Wings run. Sykes off the weave. Down to Williams. And Williams off the glass for two. Johnson sizes up Williams. Rips into her. Banks it in. They wave it off. Be elbow two right after watch this right after that's the second foul you saw the rip back essentially still early in the second <laughs> half right we still got a whole quarter to play plus so the scoop up and good by hill a three on two for the wings do they slow down or try to attack it's hill for three no good and a loose ball foul going I guess the wings, that was Thornton on the miss three and the foul on Hill. This is where we should have been, or this is what we should have been, or this is how we could have spaced the floor a little. Johnson on Williams. Attacks across the lane, no good. And a whistle, foul off the ball on the wings. McCarty Williams pokes it away from Coffee. Hayes pokes it out of Gray's hand, trying to save it, but down to Gray.
And the Wings take advantage of the scramble. They do, and it's a good ball. Sykes in on McGee Stafford. Oh, look at McCarty Williams getting the screen from her former Cottles teammate in Texas, Imani McGee Stafford. It sets open Enrique Agree. Oh, Sykes leaking out. Brittany Sykes ahead of the pack with five seconds to go in the quarter. Makes it. Marie Gulich, part of the five to begin the quarter for the Dream. Didn't play in that third quarter. She pops out, catches, fires, and gets the bounce. Didn't spaz out, didn't rush the shot, just. Family pulls up. Coffee yanks down the rebound and the stick back. Position in that three slot. It's been pretty fun to watch. Gray follows her own miss. Shot clock does not reset. Agun Bowali, no good. Rebound violent off the glass right to Thorne. Right to Rike Agun Bowali so far in her WNBA debut. She's going to be good. She's a, she's a competitor. She's not going to settle up. I like that she hasn't tried to do everything herself, right? She's done a nice job using her teammates. I will say this, though, is Atlanta Dream's going to get called for a three-second violation. I feel like th th there's always a transition when you move from college. Traffic haze on her. It's a Goon Bawali underneath the Harrison and one. Took the hard spill, lays it in. Isabel Harrison. Now, Enrique Gunbawali creating off the dribble. Yeah, and it's a perfect example. Plays like that. Nice passes. I mean, she's done it very great. A nine point Dallas lead. Gulich goes to work, and she goes to the line. Yeah, great hands. She was such a great player. She went to Phoenix last year and played behind. Made they haven't shied away from their goals this year, which are to compete for a championship, and it's a capitalizing on those second, third chance opportunities. Family for a high arching three, it's good, and it's a four. Gulich puts it on the floor, drops it off. Billings back to Gulich, and it's good. Billings up and good, tie game. have the lead 61 to 60 Amy they have outscored the wings 14 to 5 now 14 to 7 I mean, when you don't see Tiffany Hayes you don't see Jessica Breland you don't see Renee Montgomery on the floor the step back by Bentley a tough two for Bentley to put the dream in as well just there too so starting to hit things on Agud uh, Bawali with the steal and the lay in types of situations and, and here is expect a to see the ball in her hands as this game Windows down if it's McGee Stafford tries to roll that on the game. So hey, you make them earn them from the 47% free throw shooter a year ago. Splits the pair. Two Freeland into Williams. Got the deep seal on McGee Stafford and she lays it in. Screened, dove, and pinned at the rim. McCarty got the blow by to McGee Stafford, fill in the lane. Oh, and McCarty Williams steals the inbounds pass. And throwing on the run, the vision. Problem saying hello, WNBA. And Gray with the steal off the air and pass by Breland. She slips as. Look at the rim. You cannot have empty possessions at this point. Uh, two for two. Got tangled up with McCarty Williams. Feeds Montgomery for a three top of the McGee Stafford screen now it's Hill she pulls the trigger rims out the three inside position Williams McGee Stafford tapped it loose out of bounds to the dream around the horn to Hayes the shake the skip Sykes to tie and she was fouled I are not agreeing but we're definitely gonna get to take another look at it here well into the space where a player lands on a shot attempt. The first probably looking very early to clean up in the WNBA. Back to back three point trips for the Dream. Sykes is 66% free throw shooter a year ago. Off the mark, but it's back tap to Brittany. Breland turns, shoots, hits, and one. I mean, that ball touched three Montgomery, who finds Breland back to basket one on one.
Jessica Bruin has got to go up with that ball every time. Her third dream in front. 73 7. Mikes, Hayes, and Williams. Agunbowali catches the inbounds. Arike Agunbowali, 11 points in her WNBA debut. She is chased out near midcourt. Rotates to McCarty Williams. Thornton drives across. The hook over Williams off the glass. No. Rebound jerked away by Breland. Holds that ball tight and a foul called on Dallas. Regardless, after the free throw, which is good by Breland. Agunbawali, a screen from Johnson, three to shoot. Jacks one up off the side of the backboard, blanketing defense by the Dream, and they force the shot clock violation. And who had the matchup on Agunbawali? When you got a WNBA all-defensive performer on your, like Tiffany Hayes, that becomes awfully difficult. Hayes has it. Dribbles through the double team. Tricky dribbling by Hayes, just four points tonight, in and out. It's up, and it's good. Yeah, you Agun Bawali to the rim, draws the foul. Six points. She leans in and kind of finds the contact, gets hit once, and keep, he gets to the rim. I mean, you unless you get your court, which is very Muffet McGraw-esque, I will say. They combined for just under 5,000 points together in college. That's going to be fun. And if I'm Atlanta, I'm happy I'm getting this one really quick <laughs> before that happens. Well, Agun Bawali. Came ready to play for Atlanta and also stepped up to the plate. Hayes fouled by Gray. 5.3 seconds to see a little bit of a smile cracked by Nikki Collin. In last season, because those first 15 games, they were seven or eight, seven and eight, looked a little rocky. Breland, the offensive rebound after the second miss by Hayes. The one they call Breezy. If I'm Atlanta Dream, I'm getting in the gym and getting a couple up myself <laughs> too, right? Black and white. You make them or you don't. Now one of two trip, two seconds to go though. And the Dream come from behind and take the season opener in 2019. Down by eight to begin the fourth quarter. Summary 17 and six rebounds for Jessica Breland. Brittany Sykes, the other double-digit scorer for the Dream. She had 10. A gutty effort.